everyone, this is Cat Station News, your place for only PlayStation news. And PS Plus has unveiled their lineup. You can uh, download these games available from February 2nd to March 4th. And the headliner of this is uh, Bioshock Collection. Uh, you know, if you're like me, you've been waiting a while to see if this game comes out on PS Plus, and it took a while. I, I pretty much almost bought it on three separate occasions, but hey, I lucked out. Finally, a game where. You know, I've had Until Dawn, I've had a couple of the other ones where they're on PS Plus, Uncharted Collection is a recent one, and, you know, a lot of us have just been kind of like, oh, well, we bought it already. Well, in this case, I finally got fortunate. And, you know, it's a you know, prominent collection, to say the least. Every one of them, even the second one, from what I've, I've heard, you know, very enjoyable titles, but I've only played Part 1 and 3, award-winning titles, critically acclaimed, and personally, I enjoyed both of those, so I'm going to use this as an excuse to finally finish the second one. And uh, the other title would be uh, Sims 4, and then my personal, one of my personal favorites actually, if you have a VR, if you don't yet, um, they're pretty affordable, so I recommend you see if you get a bundle maybe on eBay or if Amazon's doing a discount, but Firewall Zero Hour, guys, I am not kidding around. Um, that game, it's pretty much the best first person shooter because of the VR functionality, so what you do... Um, with your body, especially obviously the head since it's tracking you with the um, the PSVR headset. If you peek around corners, if you do anything kind of like that, whether you're looking around, um, it's actually replicated in the game. So you legit feel like you're in the game, obviously that's the whole point of PSVR, but with this it's kind of just one of those innovative titles that I feel like people are really overlooking. And now that it's free, it's available for anybody to at least add it to the library if you don't have a VR. And you can get it later. Again, this is going to be forward compatible, so if you get a VR down the line, you can play it on PS5 if you choose to wait that long. But again, guys, I highly recommend this title. It's it's the first of its kind. You're probably going to see a lot more similar things after it, with the way PSVR is kind of just like, you know, gaining that little mainstream push because of the PlayStation brand, of course, now with Half-Life uh, Alex being announced. But when it's all said and done, years later, this is going to be the game that people go back and say, wow none of us tried it we should have and this is the one that kind of started at the beginning of it all but yeah guys let me know what you think in the comment section please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content once again cast station use your place for only playstation use be safe guys have a good one